Okay, we can try cauldron. <laughs> <laughs> New whip things on Pyro Dark Lantern seems neat. Wait, why? HP skills revive healing. Uh, sure. I don't think you're getting as much out of it as you think you are. It seems way easier to just like use a heart if you want to do that. Heart's also more on plan with the things that you want to be doing with the the lantern. This. I guess if we're cauldroning, we will want the goob. A potion stack for cauldroning. Oh, I have to grief the goob with this, right? Because I don't have. Uh... I can't fill this. <laughs> Holy armor. It's probably not very beatable in the mirror. Was it? I thought, considering I could not stack poison, but... Alas. 
glass. Orb is great. Maybe supposed to grab the potions. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't enough. Okay, well, that's that's not good. Well, if we die, we get to go to the next game. We will learn nothing if we take this. God damn it. <laughs> Do I just want an easy one? class you want to run into there. That's okay. You know, some actual space would be nice. Saved. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
Get him, Stone Badge. Get him. Claws of Attack plus Spear on turn three. It's gonna be the line to try the Hemp Armor line. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna be in the coffin. It's not that much better than a start of combat trigger. How many times does it even trigger on a fight? Like three times? And the first trigger is not until five seconds in. Yeah. But I mean, it... There's the staff. <laughs> Opponent has infinite accuracy, but we have a stone badge, so nothing matters. Oh, they're on sale on Grid Blade. accuracy. No, oh, I'm honking real bad now, too. Whoops. So we have stone badge, <laughs> so it's okay. So here we go, either Hexblade, if we think we're going to get our mana package together in time. Let's try taking the cauldron. Oh, hey. Uh, Cauldron is that it's so big. That is definitely an annoying part of Cauldron. I don't know if I'd call it my main problem with it, but... It is one of my problems with it. Mm -hmm. much shit on my bench. Mm -hmm. 
I think we need things to be next to it. Double whammy. Yeah. What? <laughs> let's, let's just call that the stone badge difference. Let's... Let's... Yeah, I mean, they dealt, like, 40 more damage than we did with their Serpent Staff plus Poison than our Magic Staff. Wait. Yeah, like, yeah. Some of this poison came from Mushrooms, but... Okay, they might have actually done the same amount of damage with our Serpent Staff as we did with our Magic Staff. That's probably not a good sign. Speed cauldron. Uh, yeah. I think it's probably max speed vamp armor if I'm gonna not max speed the flute. I just does want to be there. space for anything. Just hope that this is good enough. We'll still need the banana if I want to sight. Let's not mess with these gloves. <laughs> Well, we win. We win. Also, just now realizing that this isn't a moon shield and this is not generating mana yet. Might be a slight issue.
Who let him cook? Gubert's not even on the... He, he villains are these two. Why are... Or use these as the goop triggers. Why are these over here? No stam build? It's a villain star build. The stam wasn't the problem there. You honk with villain sword. Making a second one. These blue gems are pretty good. Cauldron upgrades these. The red gem doesn't do anything. If we're not scything. Just do this. The holy potion's not worth nine. I don't think so. We're not doing much with the buffs. We do have the ability to trigger it now that we have the stone skin. How many buffs? Eight random buffs. I don't think it's where you want to be. This might be where I want to be, though. I guess this is helping to, like, frost builds, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's... I don't know if I'd say that Cauldron plus Serpent Staff is winning fights so much as our defensive package is winning fights. Good defensive package. Sure. 
It's a little better than that because you can re-trigger it, but just like what's a random buff worth? It's gonna depend on the build. Like if you're playing Bloodthorn with Cauldron, it's probably pretty good. <laughs> this is probably a matchup where it would have been pretty good to have the Divine Pot. Defensive layer can't carry there. <laughs> oh, I should swap these. May as well be getting food synergy. This wasn't a better sapphire. <laughs> uh, so in 26 seconds, we got 120 poison on the opponent. In 26 seconds, we dealt 1,000 damage. That's not great, but could be worse. In the really long fights, I think this does more than the poison goob would. Now, the poison staff eventually outscales the magic staff. They were honking from the beginning. <laughs> it just didn't matter. Yeah. Probably lose to most things that have good ramping damage. Didn't think that board had good enough ramping damage, but seems I was wrong. Oh, my God. 
Okay, our double moon shield build beat Chonk Dagger. Barely. I guess the base damage on Chonk is high enough now that it doesn't just get crushed by moon shields anymore. Sepia Tome Laboratory. Is queued. Less than three seconds to eight dagger for Lucky Pig on Hammer Ranger. Yep. That's a thing. I meant to put this back in the shop, but that's okay. Um. for debuff cleanse. <laughs> Does this ramp up enough damage to beat us? Yup, trivially. Like, we won the mid-game fights that couldn't get over Moonshield Vamp Armor. But the damage just falls off too hard against other scaling builds. Cauldrons... I could see Cauldron being better at getting 10 wins with the staff. But I'm not sure how you'd build this to something that can go to survival. Generate so much mana, maybe need Crown or Orb. Uh... You could. It would be really bad if that stopped your Serpent Staff from being able to spend at any point. Like, what you don't want is to hit 12 mana, your Crown activates, and then your Serpent Staff attacks, but doesn't have mana. Because you miss out on a bunch of scaling and poison. And early poison is so big. Because it ticks the whole fight. Magic Torch, Serpent Staff, Cauldron. Maybe? That seems hard to assemble. You lead Torch Broom. You gotta get mana for the Torch. When you get the Cauldron... You still need to find more mana. Another orb and a blueberry. We should be good for mana. Well, like, what's our... Okay, we do have a ton of starting mana with the potions. Yeah, I mean, we could have two seconds of immunity at the start of the fight. And that would be fine. We wouldn't want to play an orb. An orb would actually grief us so hard. We could probably get away with a bit of immunity. It doesn't win us any of the fights that we lost, but... That's the other thing, like, what do you... You have to spend all the gold to... spend the mana. It's not like you get to just spend the mana without investing a bunch of gold into it. Like, is it even worth spending the mana? Just because you have a resource doesn't mean that it's worth using. How would it grief you? Because if we're at 30 mana and Mana Orb spends all of our buffs, we don't have mana for the Serpent Staff. Like, the random buffs don't do that much. We'll get, like, an Empower, a little bit of Regen, some Luck, which could matter a little bit, but most likely won't. But if we miss out on a single Serpent Staff swing, that's basically like losing two Empower and some number of Poison. Like, the one Serpent Staff swing is probably worth as much as all the Mana Orb buffs. And we're spending 6 gold on Mana Orb. 
Whereas it's free to not spend their mana. Another order we generate enough to do both. It's not about generating enough to do both. Like, let's say that we're able to sustain the Serpent Staff no problem. We have 30 extra mana. The issue is as soon as we hit 30 mana, the Mana Orb spends all of our mana. And then we have zero mana. And if the Serpent Staff tries to swing before we generate four mana again, that's the problem. Like, it's almost worse the faster the mana gen is, too. Because then you hit 30 more often. If mana orbs was when you hit 30 mana, spend 25 of it to get buffs. Or when you hit 35 mana, spend 30 of it. Then it would be fine. But because it spends all the mana. I think we could get away with it. But, like, what's the benefit of getting away with it? Like, you spend 6 mana on an orb to get... 12 random buffs. And then in exchange for those 12 random buffs, you're probably losing one Serpent Staff Swing. Like, why? It doesn't seem worth the gold. It's not necessarily making the board worse, but it's 6 gold for something that isn't necessarily making the board better. Like, I think you're better off not spending the mana than you are... Like, even if the mana orb costs zero gold, I'm not sure that it makes the board better. But, like, instead of a mana orb, we have a cap of resilience, which does make the board better. But, like, just because you have a resource doesn't mean that that resource is worth spending.